What's up everybody, this is Chris. I'm here today to do a quick tutorial on setting up your first patch with the Alation Emulation software. Uh, it's a cool piece of software. Uh, you can download it for free to try it out um, from Alation on their website and um, the only thing you'll need if you do decide to purchase it is the hardware piece, the USB to XLR to connect to your uh, DMX lights. Um, you'll notice this is set up to model a lighting hardware unit and uh, makes it fairly intuitive if you've ever used one before. But if not, uh, I'll walk you through the basics, at least with uh, this software. Uh, the first thing I like to do in any session is go into the options menu and change the uh, file name because it gives you this generic uh, show number. Um, and that's just uh, no good for organization. So I'm going to go into disk from the options menu, save as, brings up this menu. This will be the tutorial lighting. Save as. Click it twice because that's just how it wants you to do it. And here we go, tutorial lighting. You're all set up. It'll be much easier to find later on because nobody likes to hunt through a million uh, show number files trying to find the session that you were working on. So we can close that up. We're good to go. This window right here is what's going to display your patches. Um, in order to set up your first patch, you have the patch button right here. Opening it up, you're going to want to add in your patches. Uh, my personal setup, I use two American DJ megapixel LEDs. And you can see here they have a ton of patches already pre-set up for you. Um, you just have to find them. So uh, here I'll go down to American DJ. You can see all the different fixtures they have available. We will scroll down. Almost there. All right, we have our megapixel LED. Um, it's good to know your fixtures configurations because you will have these options and this will dictate uh, how much control you have over the various features of the light. I generally go with the either 24 or 28 channel because there are um, extra features that uh, are built into the lights that are not directly related to the lights themselves. Um, for today, we're doing something basic. We'll go with 24 channel, which will give us control over all 24 colors, um, color blocks available in the light. Um, I have two fixtures, so I'm going to go over to the count button and hit two. Um, feel free to choose a lighting rig, uh, lighting fixture that uh, is more relevant to you. We're going to hit add. Here we go. Pops right up. Um, if you want to rename any of your fixtures, sometimes that's helpful. Just simply double click. Rename. Don't forget to delete it first. There we go. Left and right. Real simple. Um, from here, it already has your uh, addresses automatically set up for you, so that's nice. Um, hypothetically, if you haven't changed the address settings manually on your lights, once you plug it into the software, um, it should automatically address your lights um, as such. Close the patch menu. Okay, so here you can have a visual idea of what your lights are capable of. There are eight sections on the megapixels. Each one can create a red, green, blue, or a combination of those. So this is going to be uh, real simple. Basically, if you want to program different sections of the light, you simply highlight them. Um, I'll move down. I'm going to do every other one uh, for now. Um, the way this works is you're going to be building each uh, section in steps. So we're going to do about two or three steps just to show you how it works. Um, down here are the parameters for your lights. This is the main dimming setup, which is how bright the light will be when it's on. Um, in the case of my fixture, you really only have control over the beam and the color mix. Um, other ones may be able to make use of more of these. Uh, so you have your sliders, red, and as you see, can see here, the megapixel lights up in the approximate shade that your light will be giving off, at least the best that a computer can replicate. And uh, let's just give it a nice 100% red right here. OK, so you've now told it what it's going to do. Now you're going to need to put it into a channel so that you can activate it later. Very simple. 
Once you have this set up the way you want it, simply hit record. It takes this and locks it in and add it onto the channel that you want it to go on. Very simple. You can bring up the fader uh, when you're ready to use it or leave it down, whatever your preference is. Um, when you're ready to build your next patch, all you simply have to do is hit clear. Gets rid of all this, but the patch you just made is still being held right there. So now I will take the opposite sections of the light. Do the same thing. Bring up the dim. I think it was around 75. Give it 100% red. And repeat. Record. And there you go. Clear it again. Make sure to clear it because if you do go to play it back and it's not cleared, it will not display properly. Um, from here, the only other thing you're going to want to do is control how the cues play back to back. They have the cue menu right here, which allows you to do that. From here, you can see that this is the first cue list you put together right here. There are two cues in it. It's using the dimmer and the colors, and it's hitting all the lights. Um, you see here that it has the loop option on, which means that once it's finished with uh, all the uh, patches you've put together, it will start over. Uh, what we're going to want to do is go in a little deeper, hit edit, and now you can see the two steps that you've built. Uh, these are the controls for it. Um, I generally use follow settings because I like it to loop uh, all the way through. You can use halt, which will allow you to uh, take it step by step through each um, patch that you've built. So we have all these settings right here. Close the queue menu by hitting that. Hit it again. And hypothetically, if all goes well, we are going to hit this and it will be looping the two patches we just built. And there we go. Um, one thing I will add, a uh, quick last point, uh, you'll notice that when I hit this, that the red on the first patch is not um, going off, it's only the second one. The reason for that is the way the software works, it requires you to actually punch in on these opposite points um, that it turns to black during the second patch. Um, so I will show that to you really quickly uh, before I'm out of time. I have my patch. We'll make it red. We'll record this onto the second one. And uh, what's probably a good idea, rather than clearing it, bring this back down to bring the red back down to nothing. Deselect the patches that you just activated. Select the ones you do want to activate. Get those set up. Record your patch. Now you can clear it. Deselect all that. We'll go to our cues. Edit. Follow. Follow. We'll leave the settings the same. Oops. If this red button is still red, uh, you'll need to clear it again. It just means that it's still using the sec uh, setup used the previous, uh, previous time. There we go. Now we have them moving back and forth. So there you go, guys. That's your uh, basic patching system with Alation emulation software. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully this has been helpful. You guys have a nice day.